in today's video we will take a look on starting assault weapon AEK-971. I will jump right into data which are available on the internet. From the table in the upper part of the screen I will take only the most important KPIs which are damage fire, and fire rate and spread. Red lines show the damage drop and as you can see for most of the weapons it, uh, it's linear. For AK and F2000 and M16 there is no damage drop. By multiplying damage and fire rate I get damage per minute which helps me with direct comparison of selected guns. The more green is the color the higher damage. With increased distance AAK gets more and more dominant. What is interesting that AAK has the same stats as M16A2 with only one difference that M16 is the last unlock and AAK is starting weapon. And direct comparison doesn't look good for M16. Now I try to do distance shooting and with AAK I can really control my recoil by tap firing which results in pinpoint accuracy. On the other hand, M16 and its recoil is absolutely useless. This is because of, of burst fire mode. If you remember those data in the, in the table, this weapon starts to be competitive at higher ranges and at higher ranges you are not able to hit anything because your spread is so big. The same results are at close range. You just can't control the recoil by top firing with M16. And last advantage of AAK, perfect iron sights. M16 are just uh, too big and block half of your screen. Next KPI from our data source is spread. I understand it as an accuracy penalty while shooting. When we stand, move or move while being scoped. F2000 is here absolute number one. On the other hand, AK is nothing special. Our last KPI is vertical recoil. You can deal with it by simply using tap fire and feel free to check my video in description which is dealing with this topic. So, how to summarize this data? AK is great for medium to long ranges, but it doesn't have very good handling, so you need to be more static, you need to play more conservative. Uh, what you need to do is just using tap fire, so trigger discipline is, is just a way to go, because by that you can negate vertical recoil, and it has really great iron sights, so you do not need to use a red dot, uh, just in case you like to have really four times scope, use it for longer distances. That's it. In upcoming minutes you will see a few clips with right usage of this gun.
Cepelo protivnika! Prio! the video and see you next time.